Okay, got a brand new launch box setup guide for you today. I'm looking at Atari Jaguar. So obviously Atari Jaguar was pretty much a failed system during the mid 1990s, early to mid 1990s. But we got a new emulator to use in conjunction with LaunchBox, which is Big P MU. It's got 100% support capability for pretty much the entirety of the Atari Jaguar library. Also going to be going through some video settings, so check this video out. Okay, first things first, what we're going to do is go to LaunchBox. And while this is opening up, if you enjoy this video, can I just ask that you hit notifications and also subscribe. I'm always uploading emulation front end content. It's always standalone emulator content. So once we're in LaunchBox, we're going to go to Tools, Import, ROM Files. And this is going to bring up a wizard. So I'm going to just press Next on this. And the next option we got is to select the games. So it refers to it as select the files to import, but what this is asking for is it wants a scan for your games. So I'm gonna to go to add folder and my Atari Jaguar game is located on my desktop. And here we go, Alien vs Predator. Now, let me just make you aware that this emulator supports .jags, as we can see just there. So if you've got many games, what I suggest you do is just create a new folder and just put all your games into that folder. So we're gonna to go to select folder, press next, and what platform are you emulating games for? So obviously this is gonna be Atari Jaguar. So if we just bring this down, Atari Jaguar, and press next. Now choose an emulator. Now we need to set up in actually download first Big P Emu, which is really a superb emulator for Atari Jaguar games. So I'm gonna to go to add. And once this opens up, it's already selected a recommended emulator, which is Big P Emu. So I don't have this installed, so I'm going to go here to click to download the emulator itself. And this is going to open up web browser. And from here, I'm going to go to download and current version, which is just here. And this is going to download into a zipped file. So I'm going to just quickly close this down and also close this down, just minimize launch box. And let's just get this extracted. So if I open up Big P MU, we've got all these contents inside. So on my desktop, I'm going to right click, go to new folder, and I'm going to call this one Big P MU. You can call it whatever you want. If you want to call it Jaguar emulator, uh, it doesn't matter as long as it's all in one folder like I'm about to do. So just let this copy in and it's as simple as that. Okay, so next thing we can do is close down the web browser and let's get back into LaunchBox. So from LaunchBox, same process again, tools, import, ROM files, next, and add folder. And remember, we're adding the game in this part. So Alien vs Predator, select folder, next. And what platform are you importing games for? So obviously this is, again, going to be Atari Jaguar. And we're going to go to next. And this time we're going to go to add Big P MU. Now, where we've just dragged the contents of that Big P MU emulator, we need to locate this. So we're going to go to browse desktop. And that Big P emulator is located on my desktop. So if I just go into this folder and I'm going to left click on the exe file, which has got a picture on it. If I go to open, I'm now going to press OK and next. And the next option is for where you want to transfer your games to. In my case, I'm going to just leave them where they are, which is on my desktop. And I'm going to press next. And the next part is for all your media. So uh, your pictures, that type of thing. So by checking none, deselects everything. By checking all, it includes everything. So let me make you aware, as I always do in my launch box setup guides, that if you select everything, there's likely a chance that you won't ever use most of this artwork just here. So it's going to clog up your hard drive. So just be very selective with this part. I'm going to press next. Configure MU Movies. That's entirely up to you. Uh, you need to register with MU Movies to uh, get your user ID and password. Just pop it in there. And once you've done that, you can get preview videos to use in LaunchBox Big Box. I'm going to go to next. Next again. And this is now scanning for my game. 
And there we go. So I'm going to press finish and just let the bottom here just do what it's doing. It's gathering lots of data and it's going to be downloading artwork for my Alien vs. Predator game. So whilst this is scanning, I'm going to just minimize this and I'm going to go into my Big P MU and open up the emulator itself. And the reason for this is we need to make this into a full screen once LaunchBox opens it up. So if you get Windows protected your PC, just go to more info and run Mway is fine. And in fact, by the seams of it, it's already going to a full screen by default. So I'm using my PlayStation 3 controller for this. And first of all, I'm going to press circle just to back out. And if I go to information, check for updates. And I recommend you doing this. And back in LaunchBox, we can now see we got Alien vs. Predator. So let's open this up and see if Big P MU is actually linked up. And there we go, Alien vs. Predator running just fine through LaunchBox. Awesome stuff. And here we go, as you can see, it's playing just fine. Okay, so I press escape on my keyboard, which is going to bring up the big PM menu menu so from here we got video settings and from video settings we can play around with full screen mode window mode borderless window obviously i've set this to full screen and if we go down one more we can even set the resolution up to 4k uh 640 by 480 is going to be the original uh say native resolution of atari jaguar uh, as you can see here i've got this one running at 1080p uh it's 60 hertz which matches my screen i'm using on my laptop and if we go down to vsync just ensure this one's enabled it reduces screen tear so 3d games will no longer look choppy if you enable this one so under msaa sample count the more you go up the more smoother your games are going to look so let's just set this one to four for now and it's even got hdr output so if your screen supports hdr then select enabled We've even got HDR scale just here where you can increase the whiteness and the blackness of your game. So it's a really cool feature. Uh, screen scaling, as you can see, uh, going left or right just reduces and increases the size of the gameplay screen. I'm leaving this on four times. And if we just go down a couple to screen effects... We've got different filters here. So the one I'm using in the background right now is warping. And as you can see, it's curved like an old school TV. Uh, we've also got other ones here, uh, say cheesy scan lines. And as you can see, there's now scan lines applied. Uh, CRT, again, this is almost looking like a sun is shining onto the CRTV, how they used to reflect. But for this, I'm going to just use the warping. I think this one looks really nice. And if we just go down to one, we can even change the effects of this warping or any other uh, screen effect you choose. So, for example, horizontal curve. If I just use this uh, to go up or down, as we can see that curvature is now changing. Uh, same for horizontal bias. Uh, you know, so it's really up to you to experiment with that. So let's get back into the gameplay and see how this looks. So that's it for my launch box in Atari Jaguar setup guide. Like I said at the beginning of the video, if you like what you've seen, do hit notifications and hit subscribe. It really helps my channel out. Plus, it gets you the latest content for launch box, retro bat, batacera. So until next time, stay retro.